Hi, this is just a quick video uh, just comparing some meters here uh, based on a discussion on the EEV blog forum. We've got the BM235, uh, the Keysight uh, U1272A, the BM869, uh, we've got uh, the new $150 class meter which I've uh, ordered, and we've got this uh, mystery meter over here as well, which actually performs um, in this particular test the same as the 121. I just didn't want to put too many. Um, uh, meters in series here. Anyway, uh, what we're doing is we're putting in a, we've got a 60 hertz uh, repetitive square wave here with a pulse width of 5 milliseconds. And we can uh, shorten this, but let's just use uh, 5 milliseconds here. And uh, got a few through a 50 ohm source, and I'm just driving them all in series. I've got fixed current ranges on all of them, so they don't auto range. Now, watch this. This is the interesting bit. When I disconnect this, and there's obviously no current. There's, you know, the current instantly uh, stops. Oh, by the way, we've got five volts uh, peak to peak there. So, you know, we're putting in a very short pulse into these things. So this is a, a like, not something you'd ordinarily measure with a multimeter, like very short pulses like this. Ordinarily, something like this, you'd get like a peak, uh, you know, capture, like, uh, you know, something like that. But multimeters, you'd use a scope. Multimeters aren't really designed for this. But it's just an interesting uh, thing. Thing. So I'm going to compare them all. I'm simply going to disconnect it and watch all the readings. Only one of them will instantly go to zero. Check it out. The <laughs> new $150 class meter, the BM235, it, it sort of went, it got there reasonably quickly, but not instantly. And uh, you'll see that there's this residual countdown. This key side is still going. It's still got these residual values. So this is something to do with the uh, true RMS converter inside these things that, you know, some sort of like residual offset settling, you know, capacitor storage charge thing. Something's going on. The key side is still measuring an offset there, which is just like crazy. I don't know what's actually going on there. Um, so, but yeah, there, it, let's put it back to AC. Is that still there? It's still there. There's a residual offset there. That is bizarre. Anyway, let me put it back in and we'll see them ramp up. And you'll notice that the BM869 uh, sort of like takes quite some time to settle. It gets, you know, close pretty quickly, but... Yeah, like it's still mucking around, you know, it's only just sort of decided to settle now. And yes, the BM235 is going to read a bit lower because this doesn't quite have the bandwidth and the proper true RMS converter chip that the other uh, meters have. So, um, yeah, that's interesting, huh? Look at that. It goes, new $150 class meter goes instantly to zero. I'll be selling this one soon, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I've, I've ordered them, but uh, anyway... Um, yeah, but yep, the Keysight and the BM235 say, oh, well, no, you could say that the, uh, and the 121 performs near identically, uh, to this meter here, so, and, oh, there we go. That's interesting, isn't it? That one just jumps instant, let, hang on, let me have a look, I've only got one set of eyes. Whoa, it just goes to that, you know, within two sample periods, it gets smacked to that, and then just stays there. The others are still sort of, you know, the BM869 uh, seems to be the worst in that regard. Anyway, um, I just thought that was interesting. So let's actually go down to one millisecond. Uh, and as we get uh, shorter, these meters just have a hard time <laughs> reading these ridiculously uh, short pulses. The BM235 is going to do the worst, like 500 microseconds, for example. Yep. And let's go down to 100. Micro, well, actually, I know that uh, 200 microseconds is where they, uh, this one and the 121 starts to fall off or around about 150 microseconds or something like that. So, you know, if you go down to 100 microseconds, yeah, the uh, BM235 has dropped off. The 121 and uh, this new-ish meter has uh, fallen off as well. Uh, has that gone down a little bit? Anyway, um, if we go down to, so that's 100 microseconds, if we go down to 50 microseconds, then it turns out that actually, if you go down to 30 microseconds, the new $150 class meter actually holds up better than 
the BM869, uh, which has a much higher bandwidth, by the way. It's um, uh, 100 kilohertz uh, true RMS bandwidth. Don't know what the, like, uh, bandwidth is. Well, that's the bandwidth for the true RMS uh, converter. This one's much lower, if I recall correctly. It's like 8 to 10 kilohertz, uh, something like that. But um, on these short pulses, it seems to hold up better. The Keysight actually does the best. I haven't actually gone below this. I think they're all just going to... Yeah... But the Keysight, yeah, Keysight looks to be doing the best there in holding up. But once again, this is not a realistic test. It's not a realistic thing. It's just an interesting tidbit. Let's go down to 10 microseconds there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> interesting, huh? So let's go back up to uh, 5 milli. But I just thought that was interesting when you pull that out. Some of them do take quite some time to settle back down. What if I actually put it up like that? Take it out and then plug it back in like that. Whoa, no, it gets it, no. Anyway, there you go. Leave your comments down below. Catch you next time.